Hello and welcome to my system.email marketing campaign where I'm going to show you how to set up an email campaign in system.io. It's pretty simple to do, especially if you follow along with me. And if you'd like to do that, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, you can get started for free with system or simply use that for easier login access. So let's begin. The first thing I want to just let you know is that you're going to have to have some type of funnel already set up. For this example, I just have a very simple squeeze page and a thank you page. So I'm going to show you the funnel very quickly. And it's just a simple email opt-in where once they opt in, they get sent to another thank you page. Very easy to do. I just wanted to make sure that's already set up. You know, if you want to do that, go ahead and put that together. It's not going to take too long. But what I want to show you is the actual email campaigns aspect. All right, so here we are with the email campaigns. Starting from scratch, what we want to do is go to emails here and then campaigns. Let's click on create. All right, so I'm just going to call this the Marketing Island campaign for both. You know, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be up to you as long as you know what the name of it is because we're going to be coming back to it later. Let's click on Save. And let's click on the actual campaign name right here. And from here, what we can do is click on Create. All right, so here we are when it comes to creating an email. We already have our subject line here. There's the ability to add a preview and they have a very good definition. In short, it's gonna be a little bit more after the subject line. If you don't put anything in the preview, it'll just showcase what it has in the body. So what I'm gonna do is head on over to ChatGPT. I just got an email done very quickly. I'm just gonna copy and paste it in there. And just, you know, put like cans. Okay, so huge congrats on snagging your free affiliate marketing gift. I know, and then you can put something like click here to get instant access. Say if you had a lead magnet, you know, if someone is, you know, accessing that, let's just say like this. I'm just putting AOL to make it a link. Uh, disclaimer, don't send your traffic to AOL. They have plenty, but that would be where your lead magnet goes. And this is going to be the body of your email. Like not super, obviously it is important what you put in there. Don't, don't just put like, hi, have a nice day. I'll see you tomorrow. But I'm just putting in blank text because once you know how the campaign works, it's easy for you to go back and fill it in with what you need to write. Same thing with the landing pages and so on and so forth. So everything else, you know, there's going to be some other things in case you want to use these in case you were actually collecting them when they signed up going to be up to you, but that looks pretty good. You can always save it. You can save and test and save and publish. You're going to make sure you want to do save and publish. That way you can actually get it sent out. So let's click on save and publish. So choose after which email to add this one. Since this is the first one, it's going to stay blank and delay is going to be zero. Okay. So these are all going to be blank on this one because we want to send it out right away, right when someone opts in to your landing page, this is going to be what's good. So click on activate. And perfect. So we can go back to emails. We can go to campaigns and what we can do is create again. And what we can do is click on marketing Island campaign. And now what we can do, that's our first email. So let's do one more. Let's do create. All right. So the number one affiliate marketing tip revealed James Canzanella marketing Isle. We're good. Let's click on save. Okay, and it's gonna be the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT. I'm just gonna paste this in. I'm not gonna edit it around. Very quick, very simple one, but we have our email, whatever it's going to be. Let's say we saved it, we like it, we can do save and publish. And this one, so this is gonna be after this one, but there's gonna be a two day delay. So. This is how you can really create your campaign. If you want to send an email every two days, this is how it's going to be done. So the next one would be after this one, and then it would be two day delay before sending it. Next one would be two day and so on and so forth. So let's just do activate again. And cool, we can go back again once the campaigns. Let's go to here, and now we have this one. So delay two days. The next one would be under here, two days more, two days more, and so on and so forth. So that's how you can set up a campaign. And the reason why I talked about in the beginning setting up a landing page with like an email capture page is that you need to connect it. So I'm gonna go back to the funnel now. And I'm just gonna refresh it ever since I've created a campaign and this page is still before then. So I'm gonna reload. And now what we wanna do on our squeeze page is go to automation rules. From here, let's click on add rule and funnel step from subscribe. Let's click on this. And now that that has been added, let's go to the three dots and do edit automation rule. Okay. So it occurs when a contact has just subscribed through a form. This is what we want. So we want to add action and we want to do subscribe to a campaign. And it's going to be that campaign that we just created. So remember the name of it, whatever it was you created, mine was marketing Island campaign. I'm going to do that and I'm going to click on save rule. Perfect. So that has been added. So what we can do is actually just view the funnel and test it out. I'm going to get a dummy email and just show you how it works. One second. 
And like I said, this is something I just put together quickly just to show you that, like how it works. You know, you want to make sure you edit around the cosmetics of your thank you page and your squeeze page. But let me enter in the email and click sign up. Okay, thanks for signing up. A standard thank you page. So now let's go back to campaigns. All right, and so now what I can do is go to contacts and just check out the contacts. And it's going to be there just like that temporary one that I used. And this is just going to be the temporary email address that I use to just check it out. So like what I can do is actually just click on it and delete it because it's just a, a fake one. So let's confirm. But anyway, that's going to be how you can utilize that works pretty well. Like I said, the biggest thing here is obviously setting up the automation rule once you do it and then you're gonna be good to go. So make sure you set up the campaign, give it a name, put a few emails in there, make sure that they're good, and then you wanna connect it with the specific sales funnel that they're gonna be opting in through so that automation rule fires, they get your emails, and then they can go through that campaign. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope this helped you out, and of course, if you do wanna test out system.io, I will have my link down below in the description where you can use that to get free access. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.